Hey guys, I'm back with a new YouTube video. It's like legit. It's been like two weeks. I'm so it's like three weeks. But I'm yeah, three weeks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been so busy doing a lot of other things, y'all. It makes no sense between school and work. They have just been like consuming, but I'm back like I'm back. Um I haven't taken a long break like I did before, but I'm back. So I'm back for another YouTube. And if you have not seen the vid the new show on my IGTV, I suggest that you guys go up and go watch it. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of this video because this is an interesting topic. I cannot wait. I put a poll up on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I suggest you do it. You need to follow me on Instagram, okay? Because you, you get to decide what type of videos I record, period. Because I want to entertain you guys. So I put up a a poll and it was like what should I, my next topic be about my on my next youtube and it's very interesting what you guys said and i can't wait to get into this topic so here's another TED talk with them and let's get into the video they like hey light skin what you doing where you going with your night in? i'm just trying to chase a chick don't need no guy friends did you kind of spin the bag are you just sightseeing about so here it is so here's the new it's TED Talk with Zim, right? I cannot, I'm loving this title, I'm loving this, it's just what it is. Like, it's TED Talk with Zim. And every other week, I'm going to do a TED Talk where we talk about, like, serious situations or serious topics or stuff that I'm feeling. Um, I think the last one was, like, going at your own space or, you know, experience in life. And that's when my first video is back. So I'm liking the TED Talk talk. So I'm so excited to be doing this. And this is like TED Talk with Zim. And today's topic is toxic relationships, right? It's toxic relationships. And I cannot wait to get into this. Um, we are in a, like we're in a world, like, and not really in a world, but like we're in this generation where we don't talk about things, right? I know for me, I've had like serious, I've had like some serious toxic relationships in my life. Um, not really dealing with friends, right? I think some of my toxic relationships were like family members. I'm really close family members. I'm trying to say some without saying a lot or like getting you guys too much into my business or too much into it. As you guys know, um, I have dealt with my sexuality in the past, but not in like a bright way. It wasn't as easy for me to come out or be like bold in what I am or any way or form because my family is very religious. My dad is straight New York. My mom is super religious. Like she's like diehard Bible, like diehard Bible. So, so and my grandmother, I really grew up with my grandmother and she's a preacher. She's a minister. And so, you know, like me being that way was really like not that big it was not that great like so it wasn't i didn't have like the grand like coming out story like some people did like you know like their family accepting them or going like you know just throwing you know just being happy for them or being in a great place with them if as far as like that um my family was totally different that's what I'm saying. Toxic relationships can come in different forms and not saying that a person can stay toxic because they can stay, they can be toxic and, you know, really shift and like, you know, change their views and really like grow. So I'm not going to say that every time you cut somebody off that's toxic, that you don't sometimes have to revisit their relationship to see if they change. And then, you know, if they did change, you open yourself up to possibilities of, you know, a brand new relationship or rebuilding a relationship or you know or anything just like for instance um i stay with my mom i stay with my mom forever i love i love my mom it's like the end my mom's like the bend up you know like so when i got in high school i um i really became you know like intimate like i really became who i am now like it really started to mold me and like really like set the tone and i think around that time it was kind of god was kind of me kind of putting me into this uncomfortable space to the point where i had to like be bold with who i am because at the time me hiding who i was or me lying to people putting up this facade was kind of killing me on the inside i became very depressed so i remember i was going to rose if you live in greenville North Carolina, you know where these schools are i was going to rose i didn't really like have me and my mom we are not like emotional people like we're not like hug like not like hugging or you know like we don't you know she's not really that type of person but you know this is how she grew up so you can't really like blame people for how they grown up so but you know like i said 
it's all in what people do they can change don't get me wrong so i've always grown up into this like household where we didn't give hugs we you know like you i love you was not a big thing um but we just knew that we loved each other does that make sense like affection affection was not that big of a deal right traits that you teach your kids can be toxic as well um i've brung i have i think carrying that trait on and like not really being that type of person to be affectionate or just or just you know that it's very toxic i mean because sometimes we have to reevaluate ourselves and realize that we can be toxic right and sometimes we got to change that like it's sometimes i feel like sometimes we cry wolf a lot when we can really like look at ourselves and be like hey you was the reason that this happened or you was the reason that this relationship failed you was really the reason that you know that this didn't work out and sometimes you gotta be okay with that and be like and just re self reevaluate sometimes it's not other people who's toxic sometimes it's us being toxic to ourselves and i think sometimes we have to be in a mind state of knowing that right so that really stuck with me but back to i, I went off topic but when i really came out to my family my mom and dad were not with it right you know a lot of stuff was said that i think that really still stick with me not really on my mom and because my mom is very like reserved and like she's chill if you ever met my mom she's so reserved and she kind of puts on this like this face that's like so serious so she doesn't really like she's she's like a serious person but she's so sweet like she's a sweet person but she's mean business like she's that type of person that a lot of stuff was said that i think i cannot not forget right but i think now that i look back on it me it really put a strain on me and my father's relationship honestly i, I love him to death but i feel in a lot of my family members really a lot of my family members they put a strain on us because a lot of stuff was said and a lot of stuff was you know talked about that you know i feel that if it, if i was in a hetero if i was in a regular relationship or if i was like dating like a normal girl or female it would not be discussed or cared about or you know or you know just not really analyzed and you know, it, it came a time and place where it just got overwhelming. Now, I, was, I remember when it was like a summer ago. And I think it was like it was last summer actually. And I went to my tw like the twins graduation party. If you know who the twins are, um, those are my uncles, but they're like they're like my children. They're like little babies. I went to their graduation party, and I remember being being around my family, and it was like you know like I kind of was not really like they kept saying stuff or like posting jabs or like doing stuff that just was like annoying like you don't have to put you don't have to always do stuff like that and to me that's why i said i've had toxic relationships with family sometimes it could be friends sometimes it could be your relationship sometimes also with relationships it's okay to say okay it's time to take a break if you see it going left or you see it not really like flourishing like you would like it to flourish sometimes it's okay to pump the brakes and be like oh hold up i gotta step away from this we have to see what it is that's not working because at some point a toxic relationship can be terrible that's like that you know and you don't want to end something on a really terrible note and i'll revisit that in a minute but i'm gonna get back to this so yeah and i remember i cried so bad when i got into the car with lexi and i remember and i don't cry so when i cry it's every like once in a movie it's once in a blue moon if i do cry you really hurt my feelings and i remember i cried because i felt like i was overwhelmed and i i felt like you know the relationship between me and my family really shifted and i think that day really showed me that it shifted and i really put myself down about it and i was so sad because you know you never want stuff like that to happen like you know but at some point for your own happiness cutting away at toxic things can be very like very healing and very open and very great and you can feel yourself breathing again so in a way the family was my talk it was like a toxic thing and my mom got a i love her too. i thank god for her every single day she really shifted in a way that really amazed me because she really showed me that you know what love is like what um like i said she was she we've never really been that type of like she's never really been that parent to us where we were like you know is, her motto is if i say it to you then we go out into the world it ain't gonna hurt you so you know she said some things that's like you know you'd be like you said that to your child mm. 
But, you know, she's not unapologetic for it. <laughs> to say she's never going to be. She really changed. That's why I said, like, sometimes you don't want to just be too fast to cut people off or just act off emotion and just do stuff. Because I could have moved out as soon as I got in high school, right? But she really showed me what love is. She really unconditional love and how to have thick skin and really walk in a boldness that's like, so things won't hurt you as much. I don't seem to say now that I have, I have my thick skin because of her. She really showed me that, you know, in this world, dealing with people who who just un unintentionally hurt people and just say stuff out out their mouth, it shouldn't affect you as a person to the point where it breaks you down that day. Like, so I'm really thankful for her. And she now is like the most amazing, like not the biggest support system in my life. Um, she never judges me. She never throws anything back in my face. She never screams the Bible at me, She's open to conversations. Anything that I want to talk to her about, she's open to talking about. So anybody that I bring to the house, she's cool with. I, you know, it's it's amazing to me. That's why I said sometimes toxic relationships can turn positive. Same thing with my dad. My dad is like slowly coming around, coming around to it. The rest of my family, I love my nana to death. She lives in New York, so it's never going to be a toxic. It's, there's nothing toxic about that. She's a beautiful person in and out. But the rest of my family put a strain on us to a point where, you know, they don't talk to them as much because, you know, I don't want that type of energy in my life to the point where, you know, I feel like I'm going backwards. And I've gotten over the feeling of feeling like I'm less of a person because of a sexuality or something that is not even a big issue in my life, something that I don't overanalyze. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like I told them, I could see if I woke up in the day and it was like the main focus of my life, but it's not the main focus of my life. So what I work, what I don't worry about, y'all shouldn't worry about. Who I talk to, y'all shouldn't worry about. Who I go to sleep with, y'all shouldn't worry about. That's me. It's my life. I don't ask you guys. What do you guys do? I don't care. It's not really, it's not that big of a deal. So you got to know when it's okay to just slowly love people from a distance, especially with family. That's, you know toxic you know that's just, sometimes that's just what it is and you know i've dealt with that so i can identify with the person who's dealing with that um and i can honestly say they are not being a positive influence on your mental state or what you're going through or you feeling like you're like losing it or you're getting depressed then it's okay to just like let them go with love you can let them go with love nobody's bitter nobody's this that nobody's hurt you can just let them go with love and just know that you love them from a distance, but because of the relationship that you guys have, you cannot be around them 24 seven. And I think right now I'm like that with my family now because I don't want anyone to be hurt or let, it's just, I love them too much to let something like this ruin our relationship. So I'd rather like deal with them with a distance and love them from a distance and go see them every once in a while. Sometimes you, I mean, don't just cut them out as family, okay? Go see them every once in a while, you know, get into their jig, you know, get into their just see what's going on, you know. But don't, you know, don't, you know, because if they haven't changed, it's nothing. Just keep doing it the way I'm doing it, the way you're doing it. And I feel like now my relationship with them is a lot better because of how I deal with them in this way. It's great. I mean, this is what it is. And then we just get, and then we get into the relationship aspect of like toxic relationships, right? And I think I touched on this like a little bit early in the video. Um, toxic relationships are really draining right let's say you get into a relationship with someone and you know in the beginning it's beautiful it's beautiful all of a sudden just it just start going left not saying from a personal standpoint not saying from experience right i'm just saying sometimes a toxic a tox relationship can really drain you from a lot i think sometimes it takes mature individuals to know when it's going left when y'all need to just step back and be like wait hold up <laughs> This is not it. <laughs> this is not it. Sure. You got to be really mature in your state of mind to be like, I just can't do this right now. We have to figure out what it is that's not working and we need to figure out what it is. And it's OK to sometimes walk away. I feel like sometimes people hold on to things that's like not the best for them to hold on to. And I'm here to tell you today just to let it go. If you see yourself just not being happy every day, to being angry every day, to being hurtful towards your individual or whoever you go with it, at some point you have to know be mature to know okay it's time for me to just walk away from this it's time for you to walk away with, from this and be a better person mentally that way and if it's meant for you guys to be it would be if it's not meant for you guys to be you have to be okay with just letting them go on with life sometimes talk, like that's what i'm saying like 
if you're in a toxic relationship, you cannot keep beating yourself up about stuff that's not going right. Or you can't keep stressing yourself about what's not going your way or what's not going the other person's way. You have to know when to let it go. You have to just know when to let it go. I think toxic relationships are de detrimental, especially if you don't know when to like say, OK, enough is enough. And it's time to let it go. Like I said, some people are in your life for a season and then some people are in your life for a lifetime. But you got to separate the lifetime from the seasonal. Right. Some people are there for like to teach you a lesson. And some people are there just to be there for that moment or for that season in your life. And sometimes where God is trying to take you, the other per this, the person that's toxic cannot go with you. And sometimes God makes it uncomfortable with that person. So you can just be like, okay, it's time to step back from this and move forward. That way he can bless you more. Sometimes uh, you never know. A person who is toxic or has that toxic mentality can hold back a lot of blessings from your life. Um, the energy that they give off can sometimes be a blessing hindrance. So like, you just got to know when to just like, let it go, <laughs> let it go. I can honestly say for me, uh, letting go of things that or people that was toxic or situations that were toxic or friendships that were toxic or friendships that was always one sided. It really helped me in the long run because it helps you think like, OK, I really put up with that for a long time. And what you're not going to do for your next friendship or the people who come to your life the next time, you're going to say, OK, I'm not dealing with that. I did with it before. It's not happening. So I just feel like at some point. You have to have the mentality to know when things are just not going, when a relationship with someone is just not flourishing or is not being fruitful or is not um, giving you what you need. You just got to know when to say, OK, back up. It's time to let this go. Like maybe in in another lifetime, maybe like short, like later on down in life, we can like intertwine again. But then that goes for family, relationship, friendships, anything. If you feel like it's not helping you grow or it's not helping you as a person or it's not helping you see a brighter future or they're not pushing you to be a better person or pushing you to um keep going with your dreams or pushing you to like you know just get through your day or anything i can honestly say i'm blessed to have the people in my life that i have right now i can honestly say the people that i have in my life right now are beautiful wonderful amazing um I can tell that God sent them to me. Right. And some people you can tell well, God sent them to you to be there forever or God sent them to you just to be there for that season. And like I say, you just got to know when to separate it and when to say when to walk away from something. Now, and I'm learning that right now as I as I talk to you guys, I'm not perfect. I know I, I sometimes I hold on to things that's sometimes not right. Just not, you know, it's not worth holding on to anymore. Sometimes it's best to let someone go or separate yourself from someone or separate yourself from a family member or this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all in how you look at it. Like I said, don't get seasonal people mixed up with lifetime people and don't exit lifetime people out your life because seasonal people want to mess up relationships with you and a lifetime person. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Don't don't let a seasonal person or a toxic person because sometimes toxic and seasonal go ahead. I'm telling you. You want to look at somebody who's going to be only seasonal, look at their, the way they push you, the way they motivate you, the way they tell you to keep going, the way they um, make you feel better about yourself. Just look at that. I'm telling you guys, you can tell who is really for you and who is like, you know, just there to just reap the benefits for themselves. And I'm telling you guys, you will, you will see a change in your life when you let the toxic relationships with people that no longer is there as fertilizer for your grass to go like i think of it like this right it's an analogy so it's like i think of life as like grass or a plant or a flower um i used to i used to plant flowers with my grandma i used to do yard work i always had a green thumb right I used to do yard work and i remember she used to say pick up the weeds from around the flowers because once again, if you have weeds in the flower or in grass or anything like that, it's not it's taken away from the flower. It's not adding. So once you start picking up the weeds, the flower starts to grow. And every season, like I said, every season you have those weeds that sprout up that you just got to pluck. You got to get rid of. You got to get rid of because they're not they're not helping you. They're taking away from you. They're not adding value. They're taking away from the value. And I've never seen a flower with weeds that's pretty. Catch it catch it that that was i'm telling you catch it i'm telling you guys toxic relationships are something that you have to know when to pull up and discard 
You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean they don't have value. They just don't have value in your life for this moment or the season going forward. So that's my take on it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys take something from this video and really use it towards your life because life is short and the people that you share your life moments with are beautiful and you should always want them to to be fruitful. Everybody in my life right now are fruitful. I love them to death. They are. We motivate each other. I tell them to keep going. They tell me to keep going. We we share a mutual respect for each other enough to keep motivating each other. There's nobody in my life right now that I do that I can honestly say are weeds. You know what I'm saying? I think I've plucked all the weeds out of my life. And I'm here to ask you guys, have you done the same thing? And that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. And let me know in the comments on how you guys feel, what you guys think about toxic relationship, how you guys ever been in a toxic relationship. Um, let me know. Let's have a real conversation. And I will see you guys in the next ep the next video. Um, make sure you go check out Zabawe's Corner on Instagram, IGTV. Um, a new episode is along with this video so if, once you get done with this you can go right to igtv and watch another watch me watch me some more who don't want to watch me no more because i mean i think i'm gonna i'm gonna get that keeps giving come on now like so you can leave this and go watch a whole another video with me in it on igtv all you gotta do is go follow me on igtv and all that will be at the end of this video and i will see you guys on the flip side remember to stay blessed stay prayed up um grow grow and remember to ask yourself Am I keeping weeds in my life because I think I need them or do I need to let them go? Remember, weeds are not here to help you grow. They're here to take away from you. So identify the toxic people with the weeds and just pluck them up out your life. And like I said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think and what you guys let me know of some toxic situations that you guys have had to let go. Let's have a real conversation. I will see you guys on the flip side. Um, remember, God loves you. Going with your night in. I'm just trying to chase a chick, don't need no guy friends. Did you kind of spin the bag? Are you just sightseeing? They like, hey, light skin. What you doing? Where you going with your night?